So what are the best countries to pursue an MBA abroad? Which countries have the best starting salaries and career opportunities? What does it cost to do an MBA in these countries? And what does the return on investment look like? If you have all these questions, stay tuned to this video because I'm going to cover all of these points. All right, so we've sent hundreds of students to MBA programs all over the world. And essentially, this information I'm giving you is through information gathered from them in terms of how they're doing their career. The first country that I'm going to talk about, which has tremendously good reviews from the students who've gone there, is France. Now, France is not a destination that's talked about very often, but it is a compelling destination for an MBA because of four reasons. The first, of course, being the job opportunities. Now, France offers tremendous job opportunities across sectors of marketing, advertising, management, consulting, and finance. And also, as a country for foreign students, it offers a two-year stay-back period during which you can stay back and look for a job. While you're looking for a full-time job, you can always take up a part-time opportunity to sustain yourself. Therefore, you have a long horizon for your job search and the strong economy which makes for a potent combination for international students to find jobs. Now with that out of the way, the other reason why France is a compelling destination for an MBA is because of the sheer quality of the schools that are there. If you talk about HEC Paris, INSEAD or something which is a little lower level such as an SI or an ESCP, there are outstanding schools in France for an MBA across all tiers and for all profiles. Alright, so we're not only talking about qualitative information, let me talk some numbers so that you have an idea in terms of what's in store with the French MBA. In terms of tuition fee, uh, French MBAs can have a very wide range in terms of costs overall. Typically, what we've seen is in terms of tuition fees, it's going to cost you somewhere around 50,000 euros to about 100,000 euros roughly. Now, of course, uh, universities like HEC Paris are expensive. It costs you about 98,000 euros, but the returns, as I will tell you later, are extremely strong as well. Just to make things easier for you, let me convert that into rupees as well. You're looking at an expense of about 45 lakh to 90 lakh rupees in terms of tuition fee. Now, factor in your living expenses roughly give and take with all the numbers considered it's going to be around 1000 euros a month and these programs in France are about one year to a year and a half long so overall in terms of expense you're looking at an expense of about 55 lakh per crore across a range of universities in France for an MBA all costs included now this is a significant amount you're going to be wondering what salaries graduates are making from the good MBA programs in France in terms of salary ranges I'm going to bring it up in USD and don't worry I will do a little bit of a euro conversion to make it clear I'm doing it in USD because of the next section you will understand understand why. So in terms of USD, the average starting salaries are around $85,000 to about $115,000 in average. If you convert that to euros and if you go back to what I told you in terms of tuition fee in euros, you're looking at average starting salaries of about €75,000 to about €105,000 on average. So if you look at a pattern in these numbers and the pattern that you'll see a little later on in this video as well, what you're going to be spending on tuition fee is roughly about the same or a little more than the average annual starting salary that you're going to get. Like I told you, tuition fee is around 50,000 to 100,000 euros. Starting salaries are also 75,000 euros to 105,000 euros per year, which dictates a pretty solid return on investment. Now, I'm quickly shifting to another country in Europe before I move on to the usual suspect. And I'm talking about the Netherlands, another very, very underrated country in terms of job opportunities and especially MBA grants have been doing very, very well. Now, the Netherlands offers a friendly stay back period of about 12 months where you can stay back and look for a job. And the economy is in a strong state, again, for management, consulting, product management, advertising jobs as well. So MBAs do fairly well here. Now, the one metric where the Netherlands perhaps doesn't do as well as France is the fact that the number of business schools that offer very well-reputed MBAs are limited. You, of course, have the Rotterdam School of Management, which is among the best schools in the world. You also have Maastricht and also the University of Amsterdam that offer MBAs, which may not stand very highly in terms of global rankings, but Rotterdam is a terrific school. The other advantage with the Netherlands, apart from the opportunities and the stay-back period, is that there's not much of a language barrier. Most of the country is English-speaking, so even if you don't learn the local language, you will largely be fine in terms of your job search and your future career. Alright, in terms of tuition fee also, you will find that the Dutch universities are slightly more reasonable than other MBA programs overall. You can do MBAs ranging from about 35,000 euros, maybe even a little less than that. It goes up to about 65,000 euros for Rotterdam, which, like I told you, is one of the best MBA programs in the world. 
in terms of starting salaries, the median salaries across ranges are around the $85,000 USD mark, which is around 78,000 euros. Again, if you refer to the amount you're investing in the first place, that is pretty decent return on investment. And again, Netherlands is among the most popular destination in terms of job opportunities for international candidates at this point in time. So keep that in account. All right. The third country that I want to discuss is a usual suspect, a very popular destination among so many candidates, and that is the USA. This is a high risk, high reward play, and I'm going to explain why. Now, within the US, needless to say, the best MBA programs in the world, right from your Harvards and Stanfords and New Penn Whartons of the world to MIT Sloan, all of these exist. And there are a bunch of very, very good programs as well, which are among the best in the world overall. Pretty much every top 30, top 35 sort of MBA in the US is STEM designated at this point in time. Therefore, you get what is known as the three-year STEM OPT extension, which means for three years on your student visa, you can stay back and work, which is a significant benefit if you're looking at return on investment, which you should, of course. Compared to the other countries, the US will give you at least 30, 35 schools which are outstanding in terms of return on investment. And needless to say, it is still the biggest economy in terms of jobs for foreign students. So in terms of ROI, it's pretty safe. But here comes the slight concern with the US and that is the insanely high tuition fee for all of these universities. Now, in terms of tuition fee, these universities will cost you around $60,000 a year to $85,000 a year. And don't jump with joy thinking that it's pretty close to Europe. This is per year. Please consider that most US MBAs are two years long. So you double that. Overall, to make the math simple, you'll be spending anywhere between 1.2 to 1.4 crore in terms of this tuition fee to do a two-year MBA in the US. Add to that roughly a lakh a month of expense for two years. And you're looking at a one and a half crore or expense potentially for a lot of MBAs in the US, provided you don't get any scholarships. Of course, you can cover some of your living expenses through PAs and RAs, but in your mind, for the purpose of this video, understand that a crore and a half is what it might cost you to do an MBA in the US. Now, if it is so expensive, the reward has to be good too, right? And you will find that in terms of the average starting salaries. Average starting salaries can range from about 135,000 US dollars a year to about 175,000 US dollars per year. Now, you will understand why I was comparing European salaries in dollars instead of euros as well, so that you understand the incremental difference in terms of what you'll be making in terms of salaries. Another interesting pattern that we found while analyzing data for the average salaries after US MBA programs is that the total tuition fee for the program usually matches the average starting salary post the MBA program annually. So that is a little bit of a thumb rule that you can keep in mind. Now, the other issue with the US, of course, is after the three-year OPT, you have to be independent on the H-1B visa, which may or may not work out because it's a lottery system. The systems in Europe are a lot more reliable because you get a work permit and you can hold on to it as long as you have the job in hand. PRs are also far more likely to happen in Europe as opposed to the green card in the US. So if you're looking at a long-term play for an MBA, perhaps the European countries make a lot more sense. But you can see how your career can go into a complete bamboo shoot sort of situation in terms of salaries because the US is that sort of an economy. That's why I say high investment or high risk, but also high reward. So these would be my top three destinations in terms of MBAs at this point in time. Earlier, Canada used to be a good destination as well. But again, due to a variety of different reasons, I don't recommend that very highly because of the difficulty of the job search. But among the three destinations, there is no definitively good or definitively bad. It depends on your preference in terms of how much you'd like to invest, what kind of work culture you want, and how much of a salary you want to satisfy yourself personally. So among the three, if you pick anyone, you'll be absolutely fine. If you want personalized advice on which ones to pick and if your profile is good enough to make it to one of the best universities in these countries, you can always schedule a free consultation call with us using the link in the description. Also, additionally, if you want to interact with me and the rest of the graduating team regularly, we also have a WhatsApp group, which you can join using the link in the description. You can post your questions there and we'd be happy to answer. If you found this video useful, please do like, share and subscribe.